Hi, this is Miss VV, the motivational speaker, and today we're going to talk about people in our surroundings. And my guest here, Christina, and Olivia is going to also deliberate on the topic with me. Basically, the reason why I'm talking about this is because some people don't think that the people in their surroundings or their surroundings or their areas are not uh, matter, which technically it do. When you be around friends or people that are basically in your life, it matters who is around you. It matters what you do. Um, it matters where you're going with your life. Um, your friends can be an uh, impact over your life when they're in your surroundings. They can have positive impacts on you or they can have negative impacts on you. Um, family, definitely a prime example, family. You can have mom, dad, sister, brother, auntie, uncle. Those people can be either a positive impact on your life or they can be a negative impact on your life. You want to basically be concerned about your surroundings and the people that you have in your life. Christina, you want to tell us a little bit more how you feel about that subject? Well, thank you. Um, absolutely. Your circle. The people closest to you need to be the ones that are going to support you, up, uplift you, but at the same time, at the same time, they're not going to be afraid to tell you when you take a misstep. They're not going to be afraid to criticize what is wrong in your behavior, your actions, even what you're planning. Um, and sometimes that inner circle will be people that you meet on a street or by joining an organization like how I met you. Yes, yes. Um, you're very much in this past year become part of my inner circle. Whereas my blood relations, while I love them and they are part of one of my circles, are not in my inner circle. Mm -hmm. Because every time I try to let them come closer they're they're always negative and not the good kind of negative okay um olivia what about you um i just feel for me personally because i've dealt with a lot of this um it's very important that the people you have around you motivate you but also make you realize that sometimes you're not always right and call you out on your stuff kind of you know similar to what you said you know so it's like you have to make sure that you are putting people in your life who deserve to be there and who have who are also work do the work because not everybody's meant to be there if all they're doing is taking from you because a lot of people are takers and then there are a lot of people who are givers and so the takers are going to keep coming and taking from the givers because we just want to give 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 but we have to know our limits and we have to know when we have to cut it off if it's not beneficial for both parties and not saying that it has to be like beneficial as far as like money but it's like energy wise like mm -hmm. if i pour into you are you pouring into me right. i don't want to just pour pour into you and then you know i'm drained from pouring all my energy into you because you didn't sucked it all out of me you know what do you think as far as the people in our surroundings, uh, do you think they take a lot of uh, take a lot of uh, take a lot out of our life? As far as negative wise, could you tell me the negative parts that can happen mm -hmm. in our life as far as them being in our surroundings and our areas? Yeah. So when you're around like sometimes you know toxic people or people who are not good for you, you sometimes get you go you start going through like bad things start happening because mm -hmm. you're trying to prevent bad things from happening to them and you're jumping in the way of their karma is what people say you know don't get involved in somebody else's you know situation because you never know what they've done in their past to go through those things so when you start interfering then things start happening to you because you're allowing their stuff to now merge into your life and so now you're taking on their stuff and your stuff so that's mm -hmm. the negative part because then it starts to weigh you down you get depressed you get all sad you don't want to do nothing mm -hmm. so it's like you have to really be careful so they just suck the whole life out yes of you. just literally, suck everything literally, out of you. you you just now you in a spot in your life where you just you ain't trying to do nothing yeah and you just 
sitting there and you not doing anything with your life, you just being a what you call it? Uh, well, my dad say uh, a leech. Yeah, a leech. Yeah, mm-hmm. And he always tell me, you don't want no man for no leech. Nope. Cause then he say, you know them leeches, you can't get rid of them leeches. Yeah, and not and even they, men too, friends. You mm-hmm. know, family too. Family can be leeches. You Absolutely. Know? Yes, Lord. Absolutely, family can be leeches. People you associate with, when. You're supposed to go hang out with someone or go do something, and you really don't want to because you know all they're going to want is whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're going to put you in a position where you've been a downfall in your own life. And I can basically say that I have basically experienced some parts of my life where whew, people was no good for me. Mm-hmm. And then you also something else that I always repeat to people being your biggest mm-hmm. cheerleader yes. you know in life far as your surroundings and the people that you have in your life because if you be your biggest cheerleader then you won't have to worry about a lot of the other things that are going on in your life because now you're uplifting yourself you motivating yourself you mm-hmm. keeping your peace of mind you looking at your surroundings and the people that are in your life and therefore, when you take that and deal with that and uplift yourself more, then you won't have all those other people mm-hmm. basically in your life bringing you down because, oh, so-and-so don't like this, or so-and-so don't like that. So now they're being a negative part. Mm-hmm. But then by you being your chili, you could probably take that little pinch that you cheering yourself and uprooting yourself and getting them out Mm -hmm. like hey you if you don't like it i don't need i don't want to deal with it Mm -hmm. you you can go on your business and i can go on my way like basically what i'm basically trying to say is take care of your peace yeah your surroundings Mm -hmm. and the people that is in your life be mindful um be like careful with the people that you got in your life yeah. careful with what you do too because mm-hmm. yeah. you can be your biggest problem mm-hmm. about your surroundings and mm-hmm. the people that you have in your life yeah. like what steps what methods are you taking to take care of that yourself because yeah, it don't yourself. always have to be the people mm-hmm. and your yeah. surroundings it could be you yeah. with your own surroundings mm-hmm. and dealing with the people keeping because some of us, you know, those people who like to keep that negative in, that negative energy in their life yeah. and they think that's love, yeah. you could be oh, your yeah. problem too. Yeah, sometimes we are the problem. And that's the big, a big thing is it finally realizing and admitting to yourself that you are the problem. And once you figure that part out and you start dealing with yourself and, you know, healing yourself, then you'll be fine. But until you admit that you're the problem, you know, it's going, you're going to go through a lot because you keep trying to avoid yourself and you can't do that forever. Eventually you're going to have to run. Mm-hmm. You're going to basically run into the mirror. You know how you run into a mirror or a face, door? Face yeah. your fears, you face, know, face what's to. going on Absolutely. with you yeah. and, and trying to correct it so that you won't have that problem. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's a lot of people out there. They will not, they will not, except what the problem is mm-hmm. well that's all in lines with self-worth yeah. if we don't have if we don't hold ourselves in the proper esteem and mm-hmm. the proper self-worth we're going to be our worst enemies because yeah. we're going to gravitate towards that negative energy we're going to gravitate to those people that are there to hurt us mm-hmm. even though we might think they love us but all they do is hurt us one way or the other uh whether it's physical mental emotional social social yes lord Mm -hmm. always coming to us asking us for money because we know they know we're going to give it to them Mm -hmm. or can you help me please Mm -hmm. i need your help because they know we wear our sleeves on our hearts right right and they know that we're going to help them but Mm -hmm. it but we have to learn to hold ourselves, mm. be uh, proud of ourselves, uh, love ourselves, yeah. because it all starts within us. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we gotta, uh, we gotta pep talk ourselves, be our own cheerleader, and hype ourselves up. You can't wait for people 
to do it for you because it's like you wait and you wait and then you're going to be like, well, why don't they, you guys got to do it yourself and be your own cheerleader and, you know, think that you are the best and nobody can take that from you. So as long as you work on that, you know, and it takes time, you know, you just take little steps each day. You don't come overnight. You just do the work and, you know, it'll just come if you just, you know, because I like to do like affirmations and stuff, you know, like every day to remind me of who mm-hmm. I am and what I, you know, so it's like little things like that help you realize your worth and they help you realize so how you important can, you are. So basically, so you can keep your surroundings and yourself protected yeah. with the people that's saying it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And yeah, it's very, very, I think it's very helpful. Affirmations are very important because they help you remember who you are, especially if that's something that you enjoy. Because not everybody likes affirmations. I think it's like a love language thing. Because for me, like, words of affirmation is a love language. Yeah, it So is. my favorite thing is affirmations just because, for me, I like to be reminded of things. I get in my head a lot. So affirmations help me get out of my head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing, too. Yeah. So the people in our surroundings are very critical. Yeah. They, it's, 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 and the reason why I say it's very critical because... Every day that you're alive here on this earth, you have to be able to look at your surroundings and the people that's in it so you could be able to live in a peace mode. If you're not living in a peace mode, you got some work to do. Yeah. You got a lot of work to do yes. to keep to keep your yourself on the right path. Yeah. But I, I, as we speak about people in our surroundings and things like that. Um, We, the next time, we're going to go into it a lot more deeper because I want to speak about how the people can affect your life in your surroundings. Mm -hmm. I live in a certain area where you just want to be able to walk through your door every day and not have your peace mess with Mm -hmm. i i don't i don't know about y'all but i know about me i don't want to have my peace mess with i don't want people to be involved in my life that's going to keep me down i want to be able to walk through my door and i can say whoo at least i can take a nap i can eat freely do what i want to do and i don't have to basically worry about ooh. Is Sue's going to come through the door and she going to make me feel disgusted? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, them people that be right there, they really make you feel up and down. You don't want to, you definitely don't want to go through that. Mm -hmm. Well, you change, you have to sometimes make a conscious effort to change your surroundings mm -hmm. when all the time you're constantly going, oh, well, so and so, oh, they they go, they're always, always they're gonna bring everybody down. They're gonna say this. They're gonna say that. They talk behind everyone's back. So you want to pick your friends accordingly. So sometimes, sometimes you need to change your surroundings in order to get that kind of negativity negativity away. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I think another thing that's important with. Um, people, with people in your surroundings is knowing when everybody who comes in your life is only meant for certain seasons Ooh. and certain people try to make people last longer than what they're supposed to be there for and that's another way it can negatively impact you too if you're trying to hold on to a person that's only seasonal instead of somebody who's actually meant to be there long term because not everybody gonna be there forever you know some people only there to teach you something and then it's they you know it's so you have to know when it's time to cut that person off you know because everybody not gonna be you know in your life forever and it's i think we like to hold on to people because you know we they've been in our lives for you know x amount of years so right. like, oh, yeah. that's and true you know and that's, and that's, we all do it you know we all have people that we like oh i've known this person over 10 years i'm not going to ever you know even though they you know the, but then you think about it, you like they've been this way for the long these 10 years mm-hmm. and then you'd be like oh my goodness you'd be like oh, <laughs> let me re let me re reevaluate this real yes. quick yes yeah yes. how close do we really want them in- you know or need them not necessarily want yeah. because want and need are two definitely they're mm-hmm. two different different things yeah. but yeah not everybody is meant to be 
an active daily part of our inner circle mm -hmm. right. for for a long time. I mean, yeah. I've, I have friends that I've known for 20, 20 plus years, um, but way back when mm -hmm. we were in a closer circle than we are now, we're still friends. We still hit each other up every mm -hmm. so often, see how we're doing, but our season to be really, really close is over and we both have to accept so you basically saying to me about the people that's in your surroundings sometimes you have to let them go but how do you know when to let them go sometimes that can be really really hard sometimes that can especially if it's someone that you were really really close to but this is what you have to think about with that is are they now affirming you supporting you offering correction when it needs mm -hmm. or are they bringing you down whether they mean to bring you down or not because you could have someone that you care the world for and they 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 say they care the world for you but they're constantly bringing you to tears. So they're taking things away. They're That's, taking your peace. They're taking mm -hmm, your joy. Their energy. They're taking that positive energy away from you. And even if they don't see the tears, you could be driving down the road in the car with tears streaming down your face because you care so much about them. But at the right. same time, they're ripping you apart. Then you need to... And it's a, it's a difficult process because I've, I've had to do it with people. It's a difficult process to push them out of that inner circle, to push, push them farther away from your, inner, your, your, your heart in a way. Right. You're not completely pushing them out because they've, you've known them forever and they've not done like something completely unforgivable you can't or anything like that but they're no longer they're no longer what god has in store for you correct okay, okay. Mm -hmm. they're no longer that that need that purpose for your life now so you have to slowly sometimes it's slow sometimes for some people it's quick but you have to slowly push them away you have to almost put up invisible walls between you and them emotionally mentally um so that you can build yourself again it comes to building yourself back up mm -hmm. bringing your peace back you can't do that if your feelings for someone or their words or whatever constantly bringing you down making you sad, hurting your feelings, bringing you to tears. You can't build yourself out. You can't walk the purpose that you're meant to walk if you don't get rid of those negative influences or push them out of the way. Right. It, because it could be meant that a year from now, two years from now, whenever, they're going to line back up with the purpose that is for you, mm -hmm. they could, or they could continue to go off on their own. Right. Uh, so we can't, we can't, as difficult as it is, is sometimes we can't just hold on for the sake of holding on. We sometimes. have to learn let to it let, go. we have to learn to let, let it go. go. And sometimes letting it go means we have to put up a barrier. Yep boundaries boundaries barriers mm -hmm. and if they're meant to come back close they'll find those windows they'll mm -hmm. find those walls the not walls they'll find those windows they'll find the doors in those walls because their path is meant to realign with our path mm -hmm. okay this is miss bv the motivational speaker and that concludes people in our surroundings and we'll be back to talk to you again but a second part to this topic thank you bye bye thank you for having me yes me too mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure
Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi, this is Miss Vivi, the motivational speaker. If you want to get in contact with me, contact my group page, Miss Vivi Williams, the motivational speaker, or you can contact me, Miss Vivi, the motivational speaker, DM me on Facebook. Thank <laughs> you.